it's Ina the Mood Reader and welcome to another book haul! So yeah, I spent money again on books. Um, very on brand but um, something funny happened and I actually filmed this video last week and i was supposed to be editing it today but what happened was while i was cleaning out my files i accidentally deleted this one and even deleted it permanently from the records <laughs> so there's no way for me to recover it so i just decided to film this one again um but the thing is when this was supposed to be an exclusive Liberdega book haul but now i actually have a few other mix here um a few other stores mixed in here this it also includes a little haul from chapters and pages as well as some gifts i received one from an author and one from um one of my mom's friends tita hazel so i'll just be showing you guys the books um that i got so it's gonna be random i'll try to tell you um where it come came from and also the prices um that i got these books for i'm not sure though if i could still find those details but i'll try so first let's start with this one i got it from an author she's an asian author based in singapore and she reached out to me and asked me to pick um one among her books to read and review so what i chose was this it's the perfect world of miwako sumida um by the author clarissa gonawan or gonna one i'm not sure i'll try to i'm sorry i'm sorry clarissa but she's also the author of rainbirds first of all thank you thank you so much clarissa for that sending this book my way um according to the blurb here uh, this is a novel in three voices about the inner turmoil and beauty that people keep while behind flawless surfaces so this one is actually set in a university and it involves I think it has dark academia vibes because it says here, University sophomore Miwako Sumida has hanged herself, leaving those closest to her reeling. In the months before her suicide, she was hiding away in a remote mountainside village. But what or whom was she running from? Very, very interesting. I can't wait to read this one and to share my thoughts with you because it sounds so interesting and I always like some murders and a bonus point it is set in a university and another bonus point is it it's an asian story by an asian author so yeah if you have the chance please do grab a copy of this one but yeah thank you thank you so much clarissa for sending this my way now let's go to the first book this one actually i can't remember if i bought it from Liberdega or from chapters and pages but this is go ask alice um, the reason why I bought this because I was reminded of the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge, which I, which I haven't been doing. But I'll try to see if I've read books that much match the prompts for that challenge. But I remember one of the prompts was to read a book that was published anonymously, like this one. So, yeah, according to the blurb here, read her diary, enter her world, you will never forget her. Many people has, have been um recommending this one for that specific prompt so when i saw the title i was reminded of it and i decided to grab a copy of this book this one um i got from books by chapters and pages and it's thoughtful by se stevens um i bought this because i was able to get a copy of thoughtless and i remember loving thoughtless when i was younger just disclaimer this book involves cheating i can't remember if it's just purely emotional cheating or includes you know actual cheating um yeah i know it's like a taboo topic it's like a non-negotiable um hate in many people's reading experiences but i actually enjoy reading about cheating maybe that's the masochist part of me i don't know but yeah it's not it i love the angst and the tension that it comes with maybe that's just the filipino in me who loves the telenovelas i don't know i really don't know but yeah um i like to explore the rest of the series that go as it goes along the story of 
the couple i think there's another book i'm missing and i'm trying to find that before i dive in um and try to reread an old favorite ma of mine and we'll see if like adult ina has the same thoughts with like teenager ina who loved all the angst and thoughtful i i mean in thoughtless so yeah and here's another here's another book that i got from books by chapters and pages and it's the goldfinch um by donna tart i think this one um is one of like does it count as a modern classic or is it really a classic in itself it's a winner of the pulitzer prize and i think i was able to get this for like 80 pesos because the cover is tattered this one is like a really really um damaged cover already it's still wrapped in plastic so i can't actually show you but the cover is ruined here and also above but the rest of the book is still okay so i don't know i just felt like reading this one and maybe if i really love it like if it turns to be one of my most favorite books then i'll just purchase a you know a better copy and give this one away to somebody but yeah it says here it's the number one bestseller about a son a mother and a life-changing work of art uh admittedly i don't know anything about it aside from it's a well-recommended book so i'll try another book from books by chapters and pages is judith mcnaught's almost heaven um if you've watched my videos before you probably know already how crazy i am about judith mcnaught and her books and i'm trying to collect everything i actually have very old well-loved you know very tanned old book smelling copies of her work and i also have um books like this that are fairly new so i realized i didn't have a copy of almost heaven yet i also can't remember if i've read this before but i bought it yeah so there <laughs> and last um and, and last week and i think it's still ongoing that national bookstore um announced their 99 peso sale wherein books are available for 99 pesos um and i did buy a few books um most i actually um gave away last time during the contest um but i still bought a few books so this one is the lies we told by camilla way it's a thriller if i'm not mistaken it's actually not a part of the 99 peso sale but i already grabbed it um it's actually 275 pesos but i got it for i think 200 pesos which i think is a good deal i don't know um i didn't want to put it back because i was already in the cashier so i still got it and i am very interested in it anyway so it says here um it's a novel of dark psychological suspense that explores how those closest to us have the most to hide so a doctor a son a life built on lies so yeah very interested i don't know i don't really want to read about the blur because i want to be surprised so let's just leave it at that also had two other books from the nbs sale that i was able to get at the discounted price not 99 though but 199 and these are these two books from morgan Matson. first one is save the date um i've seen it around and i think i've read a few maybe one or two morgan Matson books i can't remember anymore but i'm sure i haven't read this one yet so it says here at the back charlie's sister is getting married everyone is coming home all her older siblings she just wants to make this a perfect weekend but what could go wrong first the wedding planner quits and her biggest crush shows up unannounced there's a lot of things that went wrong basically so in all these chaos we'll get to um know charlie and her story so yeah i think it will be exciting i haven't read a contemporary in a while i haven't been in the mood for it as well but it's nice to have these in case i become i get in the mood this time i also bought 
the unexpected everything mainly because of all the doggies in the cover look at that very cute um yeah so it says here and he had it all planned out important internship check amazing friends check guys check but that was before her dad's political scandal before having to be in the same house with him before walking an insane number of dogs that was before clark and those few months that might change her whole life because here's the thing if everything's planned out you can never find the unexpected and where's the fun in that so another interesting contemporary that i also got from the nbs sale so yeah they're not 99 pesos but still good buys i guess so very happy about that next we have another book i got from books by chapters and pages this is an, a, an old one <laughs> it's 20s girl by sophie kinsella i bought this book actually because i want to do a video reading the books that are on like the oldest books i ever put on my want to read shelf on goodreads i've been on goodreads since, tw since 2012 and i remember not really having an idea how it works um because i was so young and you know there wasn't much social media um exposure on my end when it comes to books so yeah and i only read books that were owned by my mom so most of them were chiclet women's fiction including sophie kinsella so i this was the first book i ever added on my want to read shelf on goodreads so i want to do a video about it i want to read this one so yeah that's why i bought it the next book i have is from libro dega and it's battle royale by um kushun takami i'm not sure if i pronounced that right um this one is translated by yuji oniki it says here that it's a newly revised text that comes with an interview with the director and a new in-depth author afterward so this one is actually a library copy i don't know why it landed like on the hands of a second-hand bookstore but this one is this was published in 1999 so yeah um i remember hearing about battle royale when i um was reading reviews on the hunger games and that many people were comparing battle royale to the hunger games some even blatantly expressing their thoughts that um the author of the hunger games pl plagiarized a part of her story from this so i don't know um but i'm very very curious about this one because hunger games is one of my favorite series of all time like ever 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 so i'm sure um this would be an exciting adventure. I think there's a movie of this. If you know, please let me know. And if you've read it, please let me know as well. This is quite a thick one, but I'm up for an adventure and something thrilling. So, yeah. All I know is that many people would get murdered. They might kill each other. They might be stuck in an island. So, very similar, again, to the Hunger Games. But, yeah. Got it from Librotega. The next book I also got from Libra Daga, this one is The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin. Um, I have the first book of the series. Unfortunately, um, it's not in the same height as this one. That's like um, the sad part of like getting books in a series separately. But it's okay. This is the third book. Um, the fifth season is the first book, so I just need the second one. To complete the series um, this is a science fiction book I think it's Afrofuturism so um, the fifth season was a recipient of many awards so I'm very very interested in reading that so I'm looking as well for the other books in the series because I always want to get like a series set in my hands before I read the book I know that's like a risky thing to do because I might not I might not like the series anyway but I don't know i just felt like doing that before reading the series that's why i haven't read poppy war yet because i haven't got the burning god yet there <laughs> so this one is another book from chapters and pages alex approximately by jen bennett i have um gerald from gerald the bookworm gifted me starry eyes and i don't know i just felt like buying this one as well um 
so basically this one is says here at the back um the one guy bailey Rydal can't stand is actually the boy of her dreams she doesn't know it yet she just doesn't know it yet so yeah this this was very interesting so i just bought it this one i can't remember if i showed it to you guys before and where i actually bought it but maybe i haven't yet so here's wonder by rj palasha this is the hardcover copy of the book fairly new it's a beautiful edition i'm very happy that i was able to grab it um I used to own the paperback movie tie-in cover of this one, but I gave it away last sun Saturday because I just recently bought this, and I think I like I like this edition better um, than the other one. I just bought it because of all the hype in the book club that I'm in. Everybody's read it there. Um, I think it's one of their early their early buddy reads when I wasn't yet part of the club, so yeah it has numerous awards and i think it also has a movie that has been recently uploaded on netflix so it would be very interesting to read wonder this one is another book that i got from chapters and pages and unfortunately this one also has a ruined cover like the goldfinch book i was able to get it's do not become alarmed by Meili Meloy male maybe um i think it's a thriller yeah it says here the sun is shining the sea is blue the children have disappeared so do not be alarmed according to a blurb by los angeles times is a thrilling novel well constructed and hard to put down a sharp reminder that the tide can take us anywhere even when the water looks fine that's interesting so yeah according to ann patchett smart and thrilling and impossible to put down so even though it's a little, you know, battered and bruised, I still want to read this book because I always want to read thrillers. I'm always in the mood for thrillers and thrillers are a surefire way to get me to read um, and regain my, you know, speed and interest in reading. So now we go to um, four books that I'm sure I got from Librodega. They're all hard covers. They're actually all quite pricey, but still good a good deal because they are hardcovers and um, books I've been meaning to get really. So first here is a Reese's Book Club pick, Something in the Water by Catherine Stadman. So here it actually still has the National Bookstore price tag, which is 1,229 pesos and I think I got it for 400 i'm not mistaken or maybe even cheaper it just looks like this um the naked cover and it asks the question if you could make one simple choice that would change your life forever would you so in this electrifying psychological thriller or shocking discovery on their honeymoon in paradise shatters the lives of a young couple so it's about arian a documentary filmmaker and um her and mark a handsome investment banker so passionately in love they embark on a dream honeymoon to the tropical island of bora bora then while scuba diving in the crystal blue sea they find something in the water so there very interesting i don't want to read beyond that because i still want to have like the mystery element so yeah another Reese's book club pick um and i was actually supposed to buy this from book of the month but i think um this is uh, almost a new cover so i went for it and this is whisper network by chandler baker it says here um blurb by riley sager primal roar of a novel fearlessly funny and just plain furious um yeah so it says here that it's twisty, propulsive, utterly addicting, a whodunit, part murder mystery, part expose, a book readers will be talking about after they've finished reading it. I don't want to know about the synopsis of the book anymore. I just want to dive in blindly and like take those blurbs to heart. So yeah, this sounds very, very interesting. So yeah. 
Next, we have Girls Burn Brighter by Shobha Rao. And it says here, um, some praise here at the back. It says, it is enchanting. The resplendent, resplendent prose captures the nuances and intensity of two best friends on the brink of an uncertain and precarious adulthood. An incisive study of a friendship's unbreakable bond. So it says here, it's a searing, electrifying debut novel set in India and America about the extra or extraordinary bond between two girls driven apart by circumstances but relentless in their search for each other. So, poor Nima and Savith have three strikes against them. They are poor, they are ambitious, and they are girls. And I think their paths would go differently. One would be more well off, I guess, and one would have struggles. So, yeah, I think it's very, very, very interesting. So, I decided to get it as well. And, okay, so I also got um, the last book from Libro Deca, I got Yaa Gyasi's Homegoing. And um, this one is another um, very famous book with like highly, um, with like high ratings and people loved it. So I decided to get a copy as well. According to the blurb, this one tells the story of two half-sisters, Ephia and Essie, born into different villages in 18th century Ghana. Ephia is married off to an Englishman and um, lives in comfort in the palatial rooms of Cape Coast Castle. But her sister Essie is imprisoned beneath the dungeons of the castle, sold with thousands of others into the Gold Coast's booming slave trade and shipped off to America. So there's one thread of the story going towards Ephia's um, life and her descendants as well in Ghana. And then the other follows Essie and her descendants in America. So it's it's a story that like spans through generations. Um, this is actually quite intimidating for me because I know it will tackle deep topics. And, um, you know, as a romance reader, I'm always like looking into the romance parts of books. But yeah, very, very interesting. So... I decided to get it now i have here um three books that were gifted to me by my mom's friend tita hazel um the first one is five love languages the secret to love that lasts by gary chapman um i've always been curious about the five love, la love languages i don't know them all actually so yeah you know i'm not really the person who reads um non-fiction but sometimes i dabble so i might read this as well it might i've written quite a few articles about this for work so maybe i'll actually benefit from this for work so yeah next one is all the ugly and wonderful things by brian greenwood it says it's shocking and un unexpectedly touching a new york times bestseller and it says here love knows no boundaries a beautiful and productive provocative love story between two unlikely people and the hard-won relationship that elevates them above the midwestern meth lab backdrop of their lives all the ugly and wonderful things challenge us all we know and believe about the human heart and it had received countless of awards it also comes with a reading club guide i'm very interested about this one and as you can see, Tita Hazel really did take care of it. So it's like I got a brand new book. So thank you, thank you, Tita Hazel. And she also gave me this one. And I'm so happy about it because I've read a J.T. Allison book before. I just can't remember what it is. Maybe Good Girls Lie or something. So this is a book that... So this book was published in 2017. And... It's about a couple, so a cor it actually has a flap. So it says here, domestic war at, it at its best, readers will devour this stunning page turner about the disintegration of a marriage's grief, jealousy, betrayal, and murder destroy the facade of the perfect literary couple. 
New York Times bestselling author J.T. Allison takes her exceptional writing to a new level with this breakout novel. So, yeah. It has deckled edges, which is very, very cute. And I commonly find in my mystery thriller novels. I don't know why. But yeah, those are all the books that I was able to get in the past few weeks. Thank you so much for looking at each book with me. And I hope you find some books you're also interested in. Which one do you think I should read first for August, but not for July? Because I'm still doing the Mood Reader Bingo. But which of these books have you read? and loved which books have you read and hated i don't know whatever you feel like telling please let me know in the comments because i'd love to hear your thoughts on each of these books and that's it for me in this video thank you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye